Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer McGuire. Today I'm doing a summary video on the different pockets that I use for stamp storage and also stencil and die storage. New po pockets have come out recently. I've updated what I used and a lot of people have been asking, so I wanted to do an updated video. Now keep in mind, there are many different things that you can use for storage. I'm just sharing the ones that I like the most and that are available from our favorite craft stores. I spent several days pulling this information together so I can give you all the details that you need in order to decide if any of these storage systems are right for you. Now I'm gonna talk about regular stamps, tall stamps, large stamps, background stamps, dies, small stamps and stencils. So there's a lot of information here. Be sure to head to my blog where I'll have even more detail, including costs and sizes and so on and so forth. Be sure to check that out because it's kind of a nice summary and I also tell which of all the different options are the ones that I happen to use every day. I will also talk briefly about the containers I use. But please, as you're watching this, keep in mind everybody is different. Some people don't want to organize their stamps. Some people like me only are creative when they are organized. And you may like a different uh, storage system. It really depends on how you like to create. But if you're like me and you like an organized storage pocket system, I'm hoping this video is helpful for you. In this video, I'm going to break it down into the size of stamps or products that you're storing. So I'll talk about regular stamps, tall stamps, small stamps, large stamps, dyes, stencils, all of it. And I'm going to break it down and show you what options you have for each of those types of stamps. There is a lot of information in this video, so be sure again to head over to my blog where I kind of outline everything and summarize it. Okay, so let's dive in and start with the most popular size of clear stamps. I call these regular stamp sets. These are about the four by six clear stamp sets that most companies have to offer. This also works for cling stamps. Now what I do is I put my four by six clear stamp set in the front of a pocket and I put the coordinating dies in the back of the pocket so they're stored together. This is a Hero Arts stamp set and die set. Now this is, as I mentioned, the most popular size, so there are several options that work for these. And by the way, I store my small stamps in these pockets. I just put a few together so that they can be stored together nicely, but I will talk about small stamp options later on. I find that there are five options that are good for the regular stamps, and these again are available at your favorite craft stores. So you can see the five options here. I'm gonna talk about each of them, how they're the same, how they're different, and which one I prefer. Remember, there are other options out there, including baggies and DVD cases that some people prefer. I just found that these are the five options that I found at my craft stores that I really like. I'm going to start with the Avery L stamp pocket first because this was the like the original stamp pocket and it's what I happen to use. You can see I have the approximate size there and this is a medium weight pocket. I've never had problems with them tearing or not holding up well. There's a little flap that you can tuck into the back to make sure that your stamps and dies don't fall out. Now these fit nicely into most CD and DVD containers, so you can find storage for these easily. And this is what I like to use for my regular stamp sets and my small stamp sets. Next up is the Simon Says Stamp Pocket, and this is very similar to the Avery L Pocket. It's about the same width, but the Simon Says Stamp Pocket is a little bit taller, but not much. This is the same weight as the Avery L Stamp Pocket, and it also has the same type of flap closure in the back that you just tuck it in. Now, Simon Says Stamp Pockets come in a bigger pack than the Avery L, so that might make a difference to you also. And I should mention there are price differences between all of the pockets that I talk about. And since the prices vary based on where you get them, I'll just share some of that information over on my blog if that's helpful for you. Okay, so the next stamp pocket that we're going to share here is from My Favorite Things. Again, this is very similar to that Avery L, the first one I showed you. Same weight and it's got the same type of closure in the back. Now the My Favorite Things are a little bit wider than the Avery L. So these are all pretty close, but there is a slight difference in case that makes a difference to you with the container that you like to store these in. So the My Favorite Things large pockets are available in packs of 50, and I think you can only get them on the My Favorite Things website. So uh, be sure to check those out for another option for regular stamp sets. 
The fourth option for regular stamp sets is the Essentials by Ellen storage envelopes. These are only available on Ellen Hudson's website. These are similar in size to the pockets that I've shown you, but the big difference is that these are heavier weight in comparison to the other pockets. So I call these heavyweight storage envelopes. They have a similar closure on the back where you just tuck a little flap in. These are great quality. I know a lot of people prefer that. And the nice thing is any Essentials by Ellen stamps that they create themselves, they have their own line of stamps, come in these pockets. So they come ready to store. So the final option for regular stamps are these stamp pouches from Sugar Pea Designs. These are newer than most of the pockets that we've seen. Now these are a little bit bigger than the others and they are heavyweight like the Essentials by Ellen. But the difference here is these have like this reinforced edge and even a rounded corner on the bottom. So I would say that these are the highest quality of all the stamp pockets. You may feel that you want that higher quality or not. It just depends on the person. But these are really good, good quality. Maybe you could get some of these for some of your favorite most used stamp sets. So you can be sure that they hold up nicely. Again, there is a flap that closes it by tucking into the back. So that wraps up the stamp pockets that are available for regular stamps. So there's five options here. Of these five options, the one that I use is the first one, the Avery L, since that's the original. I will have all the details on my blog about these. Again, I keep my smaller stamps in these pockets also, and even my large dies, but I'll talk about that in a moment. This brings us to storage for tall stamp sets. There are a few stamp companies out there that have taller stamp sets available. So they're the same width of a regular stamp set, but just a bit taller. My Favorite Things is one of the companies that makes several stamps in this size. Now you could store these in your regular stamp pockets. This is an Avery L stamp pocket and just have it stick out the top. I did that for quite a while, but I decided I wanted something just for my tall stamps. So there are three options that I'm going to share with you today for these tall stamp sets. The first one is new and it's from My Favorite Things and it is designed to hold this size of stamp set. And it looks just like the stamp pockets from that I showed you earlier, just taller. So it's a medium weight and it has that flap closure on the back. Here you can see how it's just a bit taller than the regular stamp pockets. These are about the same width as the regular stamp pockets, so I just store these together with those, and these just happen to stick out a little bit taller. Again, these pockets are newer, but this is what I'm going to be using in the future. The second option is the Essentials by Ellen medium storage envelopes. These are a little bit narrower, but a bit taller. I think they make theirs taller so that if you wanna put the backer card that comes with the stamp set in the package, you can. And I like that these are nice and heavyweight. So these are heavier weight than the other options. These Essentials by Ellen tall storage envelopes are available in packs of 25 and only available on ellenhudson.com. The third and final option I wanted to share for tall stamp sets is the Simons's Stamp Tall Clear Sleeves. This is what I've been using for a very long time and it worked fine for me. These are different than the other pockets because these are just sleeves. There's no closure on the top and they're very thin. So this is kind of like uh, the sleeves that you get on some packaging. But I find that it worked really well. I didn't have problems with my stamps falling out because I don't, I store them standing up, so it's not a problem for me, but it may be for you. So again, this is a very thin sleeve, no closure on it, and you just slide the stamp set in the top. These sleeves do come a little bit taller, and I trim a bit off the top so that they fit on my shelf, but you can leave them as is. Now, these are thin, but they do hold up just fine. You can see they are strong. After all, these types of bags are used for packaging all the time. They are quite economical. You get a package of 100 for a really good price. So if you wanted to, you could get these sleeves and trim them down for your regular stamp sets, too, if you're looking for a good price point. So those are the three options for tall stamp sets. I use the My Favorite Things and the Simon Says Stamp Pockets. I like the Ellen Hudson a lot, but my, t my shelves are a little bit too short for that t tall pocket, but it is high quality. This brings us to large stamp sets. So these are about six by eight inches, and there are several companies that make these size stamp sets, including Winnie, of Wal Winnie and Walter, uh, Neat and Tangled, and uh, Altenew. So they're becoming more and more popular, and they're about twice the size of a regular stamp set. 
Now this is the trickiest one because these are wide, so wide that they require a different size container and there aren't that many options for storing them. Here are two options that you can consider, the Ellen Hudson pockets and the Simon Says Stamp pockets. These are very different so you gotta decide what works best for you. I have been using both of these pockets. I actually started with the Simon Says Stamp sleeves and these essential, Essentials by Ellen large pockets are new, so I've been using these lately also. So here's a look at the Ellen Hudson Essentials by Ellen large storage envelopes. Again, these are that heavyweight material that all of the Essentials by Ellen pockets are. You can see that it has a much larger size, so it can hold those larger stamp sets nicely. You can store Tim Holtz stamps in here. However, if you want to keep the plastic backer that the Tim Holtz stamps come with, you're going to have to trim some off of the side to get it to fit into this pocket. But that's how I plan to store those in the future. Because these stamp sets and pockets are larger, I do use a larger container for these and I store them separate from my others. This is the other option. This is the Simon Says Stamp clear sleeves, the large clear sleeves. You can see they're much smaller than the other and the clear stamp sets fit very snug into these. Sometimes you have to trim a teeny tiny bit, like an eighth of an inch off the side to get them to fit. But I like that they're snug in here because it kind of holds it in place since there is no flap on these sleeves. Again, these are those very lightweight sleeves that are often used for packaging. You can see they come much taller. I think they're about, the pockets are about six by 10 and I trim some of the top off because I don't need all that. You could also just fold that down if you wanted to. Again, these are the large sleeves that I've been using since the beginning and I haven't had any problem with them. These are very economical also since they are just sleeves and you get a hundred in a pack for a great price. So those are the two options for those large stamp sets. They're very different, so you really gotta decide what works for you. Another thing that I know that some people have done is they take their regular stamp sets that are four by six and store two of them sideways in one pocket. If they're really tight on space, that's one thing that you can also do. Next up, we have the option for the small stamp sets. As I mentioned, I keep my small stamp sets in regular clear pockets, the regular size, and I put a few in a pocket, but some people really want an option that's smaller for smaller stamp sets. The best option for that is the My Favorite Things small envelopes. So you can see it here. It looks just like the other regular stamp pockets. It's at medium weight with the small flap in the back, but it's a smaller size. So these are about five and an eighth by five and an eighth. And these are called the My Favorite Things small pockets. You could also use these for die storage if you want to. But again, I just use the regular clear pockets for my smaller sets. This way I can store them with the other stamps and they don't get lost by being too short of a pocket. Okay, so now we're on to background stamps. I have been buying more and more background stamps lately, so it's important to have a pocket to put those in. I used to not keep them in pockets, but sometimes when I didn't clean my stamp well, it would make a mess. Many background stamps these days are six by six, like the one you see here, so you can stamp it in either direction on a card. But if I have smaller cling uh, background stamps, I put those in these same pockets. Okay, so there are two options that I found for background stamps, and they're very different, so you need to consider what would work best for your needs. The one that I have been using are the Simon Says Stamp Clear Sleeves. So these are sold in packs of 100 and very economical. Now the thing with the Simon Says Stamp Clear Sleeves, like the others I've mentioned, is that they're a lightweight sleeve that you just slide in with no flap on the top. Actually, these sleeves do come with a, like an adhesive flap, but I just cut that off so that I can have the sleeve. After all, I don't really have to worry about anything falling out because it's just one giant stamp. I'm really just trying to keep my stamp from getting other stamps dirty and also so that I can label on the sleeve. There is a little extra room in these pockets so the background stamp slides in and out very easily. Again, these are the ones I've been using and I use a different container to store these and I'll talk about that in a moment. Now the other option for storing background stamps is from My Favorite Things. Now these are like the other stamp pockets where they are medium weight and they have a flap closure on them. Now you can see that these fit very snug onto a background stamp so that's one thing to consider but they are a bit heavier weight and they do have the flap and you can store many stencils in these also. I do think it's great that My Favorite Things has come out with similar style pockets for both regular stamps, tall stamps, square stamps, and small stamps. They don't have anything for large, those super big stamp sets because they don't make any big stamp sets, but I like that they all coordinate nicely and are all the same quality. 
Since I've been using the Simon Says Stamp clear sleeves for background stamps for a while and they've been working for me, that's probably what you'll see me be sticking with for future storage. But there is one more thing that I wanted to mention. You could take the Essentials by Ellen large storage envelopes that I showed you for large stamp sets, and you could put a, a background stamp in there and just cut some off of the bottom and put some clear tape to seal the bottom back up if you're looking for a really heavyweight, nice fitting pocket for your background stamps. I just wanted to mention that option in case you need that. Okay, so that wraps up stamp storage. I wanted to talk next briefly about wafer thin die storage. Dies are becoming more and more popular, and it's really not necessary to have a huge stamp pocket. In most cases, a small square one works. And there are two options that I really like. You can put a piece of magnetic sheet in these to hold your dies in place, but I skip that step. I would rather save that money for other stamps and dies. So I just put mine in here without a magnetic sheet, but you can do that if you want to. The option that I've been using for a long time and I'm very happy with are the Simon Says Stamp die pockets. You can see there's a special little closure where you can tuck the flap in very quickly. These are very durable and they are enforced, reinforced around the edge. I find that most of the wafer thin dies that I buy fit in here nicely. You can even put border dies as an, at an angle inside of these. If my dies don't fit into this square pocket, I do use a regular clear stamp pocket for those larger dies, but most do fit into this pocket. Now the price point on these Simon Says Stamp die pockets is really great. I've been happy with the qualities of these. I've been using these for years, and I do have a container that I like to store all these die pockets in. Now here's a comparison to the Avriel stamp pockets that I use for my clear stamps. That's why I put my bigger dies in, but I wanted to show you how they compare. Now another option for your wafer thin dies is the My Favorite Things small pocket. This is what I showed you earlier for small clear stamps. It's just a little bit bigger than the Simon Says stamp pockets. This has that medium weight material and that little flap that you tuck in the top. And these would work great with your wafer thin dies also. And again, you can cut small pieces of magnet, ma magnetic material to put in here to hold your dies to keep them from kind of running around in the little pockets. However, I choose to skip that to save the money and just throw all the, uh, all the dies in the pocket together. This brings us to stencil storage options. Um, stenc I'm talking about the type of stencils that most card makers use. They're usually six by six and smaller. So keep that in mind. There are bigger stencils out there, but I use mostly six inches by six inch stencils. So I'm going to show a couple different options for those stencils. The one that I've been using for some time now are the Simon Says Stamp Stencil Clear Sleeves. And these are like the other clear sleeves I've shown you, where it's lightweight and there's no closure on it. You just slide the stencil in. Now this pocket I happen to be using is a little bit smaller than the sleeve that I use for background stamps, but you could use that instead for the stencils if you want to. Okay, so these sleeves, again, you just slide the stencil in the top. I have that white cardstock insert for support. Now, I find that this is enough for me for my stencils because really I just want a pocket so I can label it and I want to keep my messy stencils from getting other stencils messy or having them kind of get tangled up in a container. So I really find that the sleeve works just fine for me and it's very economical. There are a hundred in a package. The second option is from My Favorite Things. This is the same pocket that I just showed you for background stamps. These call, they call these their square pockets. And you can see it's a little bit narrow compared to the Simon Says Stamp sleeve, but you can slide your stencil right in there. It's a nice snug fit. It has the closure on the top and it's a little bit heavier weight. So this is another option for stencils. If you have stencils that are a bit bigger than six by six, they won't fit in this. This is great for a six by six or smaller stencil. So those are the two options that you could probably use for most of the stencils that you may have. One is a thin sleeve and one is a more durable pocket with a flap. Okay, so that wraps up the little stamp pockets for all these different products. There's so many, but I wanted to be able to show you a comparison so you can decide what might work best for you. Remember, you can store different things in different pockets. You can mix these up a bit. I just find that the options that I chose as my favorites are the ones that work for my system. So you want to think about what works for you. I am so thankful to these stamp companies for making these pockets available for us so that we don't have to go searching at different stores for different things. We know what will work perfectly for our needs. 
Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about storing these. Now that we have all of our products in them, there are so many storage solutions you can use, recycled boxes, whatever bargain bit containers you can find. But I thought I'd share what has worked for me and I know many have you, of you have tried and like also. I like the line of interdesign uh, containers. The ones that I use for my clear stamps are fridge bins and they have two sides to each compartment and they're super, super strong, high quality. You can put these on shelves or in drawers, whatever you want. I have mine in pull-out drawers and large cabinets in my office. Now this, jo this uh, hobby is my job. So I have a lot of stamps because they're tools for what I do. I divide my stamps up by manufacturer, but I think if it were my hobby, I would probably divide them up by theme. The dividers that I use in these are actually cut up plastic folders, but you could cut up cardstock or chipboard or recycled materials for your dividers or even laminate some paper. I label everything so I can quickly find what I need. And you would be amazed how many stamps you can put in one of these containers. If they seem a little heavy to you, you can get a, a narrow container option and it holds half the amount as this double-sided container. Again, I will link to all these interdesign products below. Now for my die storage, I use a little bit narrower interdesign product. It's a little bit smaller and it fits the die pockets nicely. Now for my dies, I do like to divide those up by theme instead of manufacture. It just seems to work better for me. I've been doing this system for a long time and I really like it. In the back of my drawer, I have my larger dies. So you see that in the back of the picture there. This really works well for me. Um, again, this is a smaller container for those smaller die pockets. Now for your larger stamp pockets or your background stamps or your stencils, there is an interdesign container that is wider that holds these nicely. I actually don't use these containers because I have a space built into my drawers that works perfect for these. But if I were to need a container for those, this is the perfect size. Okay, so there's my summary and all the different pockets that there are. Please know that I spent a lot of time pulling this together. I'm hoping I got all the information correct. If there are any clarifications or mistakes I need to fix, I'll put them in the YouTube description below. So to be sure to check that and also over on my blog post where I have all the information and so much more. Okay, so to find my blog post, click here on the top left on my logo. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And in the middle, it will take you, you can click there and it'll take you to a playlist of all of my organization videos. I have die storage and stamp storage and stencil storage videos that go into more detail about the containers and such. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's a long video and I hope this was helpful. See you soon.